Alright. Here we go. Flare out the neon a little bit. Do a little tuning. You can put uh, start auto tuning on if you want. So what we have going on here on the laptop is an auto-tuner program for Megasquirt that looks at what the engine is doing and then adjusts the fuel tables accordingly and immediately for it. Let's see if I can adjust. There we go. That's much better. Okay. So as we drive around, the computer looks and it'll automatically adjust the fuel table accordingly. Um, this a little bit so you can see my air fuel ratio gauge maybe over here um, the goal of that thing is to be either 14.7 or 13.3 or 12 or 11 depending on the boost which is right here so Derek and I are gonna futz around with this thing and watch it do its magic as it'll go through the table it'll adjust things down or up depending on the fuel that's needed you probably can't see it on the camera, but it adjusted a couple tables already. And then over here we have the cells that it changed, as well as the cell weighting, or the, the cells that you're spending all your time in. So we'll do a little playing and uh, crank up the boost a little bit as it gets a little better tuned. Why don't you uh, go to advance and go to the boost table? Boost control boost table. Yep. And at one point I'm going to ask you to increase that a little bit and a little bit more. The trick though is we gotta keep her under 20 psi, or so it doesn't spike at 20, or spike higher, much higher than 20. The turbo's moving a little too quick at that point. We don't have boost gauge here. We've got that there on the dash. Yep. Um, KPA is boost, I guess too. Anything. I think I've got it set to uh, be pissy if it goes too high anyway. At, at 259. Yeah, 259. Yeah, just with that. of okay um, we don't want to burn tables that was my mistake we don't want to burn tables while the engine's running because if it's in the middle of a bad part of the table it will throw the whole table into disarray I've done it once and you look at the table and it's all random weird characters cool stuff yeah but you can adjust it just don't burn it no you told me to burn it I know my bad <laughs> I have here a nice, fast, dual-core laptop. I had to buy a uh, PCI Express card for serial port, because the newer laptops don't have serial on them.
the duty cycle because uh, on, the, on the fuel duty cycle because it was running too rich. Now that it's adjusting downwards, you're not getting anywhere near that on the and then the higher RPMs will um, get higher too. That's where that's where the duty cycle always peaks when you're revving out. Start auto tune again and hit the 